The other day, I stumbled upon a YouTube video of this artist that was weaving a most mesmerizing cloth on a loom. Now, for those scratching their heads, a loom is that large frame that holds threads really tight while another thread dances between them, right? It's like watching magic unfold. It's incredible. And if you're thinking, what on earth is he talking about? A quick Google search will have you nodding in recognition. You'll be like, oh yeah, okay, I see. So maybe you've never sat at a loom. I, I have not. Um, but I'm sure you've seen a tapestry hanging on a wall or on a piece of furniture. But it's amazing because each thread, each color, even each knot, they all contribute to this really most beautiful, large picture, really, made of cloth. It's fascinating to me, though, like how something so complex can be created just from an individual strand of thread. So naturally, curiosity got the best of me, and I started going down the rabbit hole of looms and learned that the oldest known tapestry dates, get ready for this, all the way back to 3000 BC in ancient Egypt. Oh my gosh, can you imagine the stories and the time encapsulated in those threads, oh, if they could just speak. And also being the fact that I have a podcast and I tend to look at everything with a how does this relate to life kind of way, I began thinking that just like this gorgeously woven tapestry, our lives are like this. Our lives are crafted with threads from our past experiences, from what we're going through right now, and what we hope to be going through next, like tomorrow, next month, next year. And this artist on YouTube, they wove this tapestry so effortlessly. I mean, as if they had been doing it their entire life. And each thread, perfectly balanced, was harmoniously aligned. It was gorgeous. And so it got me thinking, how can we weave a life that's just as balanced, just as beautiful, without getting tangled up in all of the complexities? Here, do this with me. If you're in a safe space, close your eyes. I want to picture something in our mind. Imagine sitting in front of a loom. You're in your favorite room of your house. You have a, a nice tea or maybe a coffee and you have all of this fabric in front of you. Now with your eyes still closed, you're still sitting at this loom. And as you begin to select which thread to start with, you begin to see how life is like weaving a tapestry. Each thread represents where you've been, where you are, and where you're going. And if you think about the loom as the, the framework, right, what's holding our existence together, you are the weaver. You are the artist that I was watching on YouTube, right? You get to make all of the choices about which threads to use and how tightly to pull them, but you're at the seat. You're the one that's creating this. So with that being the case, let's start with the past. The beginning is a really good place to start, right? Sound of music. Anyone? Anyone? Let's begin to make something beautiful. I'm Chad Lawson, and let's calm it down in three, two, one. So, our past. Those threads that have already been woven into the fabric. Those are the threads of your memories, your experiences that have kind of shaped who you are, the, the lessons you've learned through the years and such. But what happens when those threads are frayed or knotted, right? We've all had those times that we'd rather forget, those moments that have left scars, but as hard as this may seem, even those threads have their place. Yes, let's be honest, we all have those times, those life lessons that we'd rather forget, those dark, tangled fibers that we sometimes just wish we could just snip off and 
throw away. But I want to pause for a second and I want us to consider something. Like really think about this. Have you ever looked at a tapestry and noticed how the darker threads actually contribute to the overall beauty of a design? Right? They create contrast and depth and they give it a sense of dimension that wouldn't really be there. Right? It wouldn't exist in a tapestry if all you saw were just bright, cheerful colors. So in our lives, it's often the darker threads, those uphill climbs, those heartbreaks, those failures. It's those times that teach us the most about who we are. Are they pleasant? <laughs> no, of course not. Are they necessary? Mm, sorry to say that they are. Yeah. But these threads, they may be painful to weave in, but they're important. They're essential for making this really rich, textured life. So if I can be my normal blue sky kind of guy for a minute here, I want to ask, how would you know what resilience would be if you never had to bounce back from a setback? How would you know how to love if you never had your heart broken, right? How would you know to move forward if you were never pushed backward? How could you truly understand empathy even if you never felt pain? And then seeing that same pain that someone else was going through, right? So when we stop seeing these darker threads as bad luck or dark clouds and start seeing them as the flip side to all the good stuff, the, the laughs, the, the winds, the, the quiet, peaceful moments. That's when our life's tapestry turns into something really special. It's like looking at a picture and, and seeing not just the colors, but the whole story, the, the ups and the downs and the contrast and the differences that's what makes us who we are. So if we look at these dark clouds or bad lucks, what threads are you kind of avoiding in your own life's tapestry? Got any experiences you're keeping in the do not use pile because you're worried that they'll mess up your whole picture? What if you took a chance? What if you went ahead and wove them in? Not because you have to, but as you choose to? What if you saw them as lessons that add a little bit more of you to your life story? I want you to remember this. Even the best weavers had a few snags and knots, right? Sometimes they go in for a purpose. It's not about avoiding them. It's about what we do with them. Do we tuck them away, hoping that no one notices them? Or do we just let them add a unique twist to the story? And as we're sitting here with this metaphorical loom in front of us, let's not dodge these darker threads. Let's weave them in with a little nod of thanks. Thanks? Yeah, thanks. Because they all add something. They bring in the grit the bounce back and that, hey, I get you kind of understanding that makes us, well, us. And the end of the day, it's the mix. It's the mix of the highs and the lows and the good days and the not so good days that make our life's tapestry unique, beautiful, and for some, a masterpiece. But here's the kicker. Balance it's key. If we get stuck weaving in too many threads in the past, well, then our tapestry starts to look a little lopsided. It doesn't capture the full you because you're not just all in the past. You're still growing. You're still changing. So what's the game plan with those tricky threads, right? Do we snip them off or do we get creative and work them into a new design that goes along with who we are now and what we're becoming. 
You know, speaking of threads, I've got to give a shout out to Jenny Kane. Fall is just around the corner. I know, I'm excited. I think you probably are too. And my wardrobe is screaming for a refresh. I've been living in my Jenny Kane men's hoodie. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. Like after September 1st each year, you will find me officially in a hoodie until May of next year. I live in hoodies. And this one from Jenny Kane is like a beautiful embrace every time I put it on. I love it. I'm not kidding you. Lie detector test. I actually have to hide it from my 13 year old as he is wanting to steal it so bad. And now my wife has been eyeing their Flynn cashmere sweater. I get it. It looks amazing. And as if that weren't enough, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Their home essentials are just fabulous. If I could, I would have a Jenny Kane candle in every room. It's like a little piece of serenity wherever I go throughout the house. Plus, they have this incredible rewards program where you can earn up to 10% back with every purchase. And joining, guess what? It's free. Completely free. So, find your forever pieces at JennyKane.com. My listeners, yes, I'm talking to you. You guys get 15% off your first order when you use the code CALM, C-A-L-M, at the checkout. That's 15% off your first order, J-E-N-N-I-K-A-Y-N-E.com, promo code CALM. I love my hoodie. You should grab one too. So, let getting dressed be one less thing to worry about. Okay, back to where we were. I want to talk about the here and now, the threads you're actually weaving as we speak. These aren't dusty old threads from the attic. These are fresh, off the spool, full of possibilities. It's like when you're shopping for those perfect pieces of something, Jenny Kane, you get to pick what goes into your life right now, this very second. Yes, you heard me. Right now, you are the designer of your life. But hold on a second. The present moment is a slippery little thing, right? It's way too easy to get lost in the daily grind and forget we're even weaving, forget we're even living. So, let me ask, are you picking threads that make your tapestry pop? Or are you just going through the motions, not really caring how it turns out? Do me a favor, take a deep breath in. Nice exhale out. Mm. Ask yourself this. What are you adding to your life today? What are you adding to your tapestry? Is it joy? Is it love? Is it a sense of purpose? Or is it stress and worry and a dash of regret here and there? Maybe being overwhelmed? These aren't easy questions, but they kind of make you pause and think. So here's a little nudge I want to give you, okay? Today, I want you to take five minutes, just five, to sit down and really think about those threads that you're weaving. Are they leading you toward the the life you want, or are they just filler? Are you just putting the threads in there because they're there? If they're not quite right, it's, it's okay. You're the designer. You have the power to swap out those threads. Um, how, you ask? Well, by making different choices, even small ones, like saying no when you need to, or saying yes to something that scares the goosebumps out of you, but you're excited every time you think about it. Does it excite you? Well, yeah. Then why are you still sitting there? I'm going to ask you again, does whatever it is excite you? If it does, why are you still sitting there? But finish the podcast, of course. But on the other hand, maybe it's taking a moment to just breathe and just be present rather than mindlessly rushing through your day. These are your threads, your choices, whether you want to Take an impromptu, never done this before, or the, I'm going to sit in this rocking chair and listen to the silence. It's your tapestry. 
where you are now is your space and you are allowed to create that. But there's one more thing I want to mention, and that is the future. You see, the future is like this untouched spools just waiting in the wing, right? They're, they're your, your dreams. They are your, mm, one day I'll do this kind of thoughts. It's super tempting to grab those future threads and just start weaving and just throw them in there and just hoping it looks great. But if I can, I encourage you to hold on just for a second. The future is not going anywhere. Man, it's shaped by what you're doing right now. So let me toss this thought to you. Are your future dreams, are they in line with what you're doing today? Are you setting the stage now or tomorrow? Or are you stuck in a fashion time warp? Are you wearing today's threads tomorrow, next month, next year even? Just because they fit? Just because they're comfortable? How long have you been wearing yesterday's threads? Are you weaving for the tapestry you have? Or are you weaving for the tapestry that you want? So thinking about this and speaking of threads and speaking of tapestries, I don't want to forget one of the most essential threads that we do each day. It's food. It's mealtime. HelloFresh is like that perfect thread you didn't know you needed in your tapestry. With HelloFresh, farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes come right to your door. So say goodbye to those last minute grocery runs that throw your whole design off balance. Who has time to spend all evening in the kitchen when you're busy weaving the other parts of your life? With their 15-minute ready meals and a selection of over 40 recipes plus 100 add-on items every week, it's like having a personal chef who also doubles as your shopping assistant. So why not simplify one thread of your life? Go to HelloFresh.com and use the code 50 it down 50 calm it down for 50% off. Plus, get an additional 15% off for the next two months. America's number one meal kit makes planning meals a breeze, freeing you up to focus on weaving the more complex threads of your life's tapestry. Getting back to speaking of weaving and balanced life, let's remember this. This is a lifelong gig. It's not a one and done kind of thing. It's a it's a mixtape of your past. It's a collage. It's a past and present and future. Your life is a story still in the making. And you know what? You are the one that's creating it. So I want to offer some do now threads. Yes, some actionable threads to add to your life's tapestry this week. Are you ready? You should write this down. First up, take a little time out to think about your past. Jot down the highs and the lows and what each one taught you. It's like reading old diary entries, right? You'll see how far you've come along and you'll appreciate every zigzag in your design. Second, I want you to carve out some me time. I talk about this a lot, right? Some me time moments each day to clear your head. It could be meditation, it could be prayer, it could be savoring the first sip of your morning coffee or even just listening to this podcast. But the point is to be all in right there, right now. Trust me, it will help you pick your threads like a pro. Carve out some few me time moments each day. And then last but not least, do a quick check-in with your future self. What? What do you mean? Well, ask yourself, are your daily deeds in sync with your dream tapestry? If not, what's one small thing you can do this week? Not next month, not next year, this week to get back on track. 
It's like a, it's like adjusting your loom to make sure you're weaving exactly what you want. And so when we circle back to this big question, like how do we weave a life that's both balanced and beautiful without getting all tangled up? I'm going to be honest. There's no magic formula. But if I could offer this little bit of wisdom, it would be this. Weave like you mean it. I'm going to say that again. Weave like you mean it. Pick your threads thoughtfully. Pull them with gusto. Don't be shy about undoing a knot or two. Every thread, every moment, it's a piece of who you are. And when you put them all together, you get this incredible, one-of-a-kind tapestry that is your life. And I cannot wait to see how yours turns out. Thank you for listening. Thank you for living. And until next time, may your loom be ever full and your tapestry ever beautiful. Keep weaving, keep living, and most importantly, be kind to your mind. And join me again as we calm it down. To find more episodes of Calm It Down, see where I may be appearing in your area, or to simply want to know where to send me some chocolate chip cookies, visit calmitdownpodcast.com. This podcast was written and produced by yours truly, Chad Lawson, composer, pianist, and nationally recognized Sweet Tooth. The views, expressions, and techniques in this episode are of my personal opinion and not intended, nor should they, serve as a substitute for medical advice or diagnosis rendered to you by your individual doctor or other health care provider. Only a licensed physician should evaluate your situation, provide a diagnosis, or render other medical advice to you. And you should only act upon the advice of this physician. Now, I'm an extreme empath by nature. But my profession is that of a composer and pianist, not a licensed therapist or physician. I hear from thousands of listeners how my music has helped them through various stages of emotional needs, and I simply want to offer this in future podcast episodes to aid those needs. So to find a list of licensed professionals in your area, please visit CometDownPodcast.com. And if you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a review, or better yet, share it with a friend. While it takes less than 60 seconds to do, its impact will last for years to come, as every little bit helps in growing the awareness and the importance of mental and emotional health. Thank you for listening. Thank you for living. And until next time, be kind to your mind, and join me again as we calm it down.